Hello there, Aku here again. Welcome to episode 25 of my Ultimate Feed the Beast Let's Play. That's uh, racked up to 25 pretty quick. 25 means I'll be putting a well download up after I finish the video. That's why it's a little bit late. I've actually been doing a bit of prep stuff. Um, if you do want to have a go and download the world, the link will be on my forum thread on the Feed the Beast forum. It's linked off my channel. Um, I'll put my armor onto this I'm a stand here, so you'll get my goggles, jetpack, leggings and boots if you, if you want to come have a play around. And my ender pouch has all my stuff in. I'll put this stuff in there as well. It'll be in this ender chest over here. So that's, <coughs> pardon me, that's how I do that kind of thing. Um, right, a couple of things to get through on this episode. Um, I'm doing some irritating bee breeding. It's a... Uh, tarnish and the corroding and stuff you want to get a five percent chance so a five percent chance means i need a uranium in both of these so i've started breeding up the up to the uranium bees just so i've got a good source of uranium um so I keep, i'm getting a few hybrids because these ones they have the chance of like three or four different outcomes so it's, uh, it's a little bit more irritating um i'm still making plenty of paneling Increasing my amount of alvear is there. Uh, I'm just at the minute just prepping a couple of. I'm they're going to be cultivated bees actually, because I've got no beeswax coming in, which is quite funny. Because none of the bees that I'm produced, none of my production bees have got beeswax. Eventually, I've got the platinum bees. I'm going to have a titanium bee as well. I think they produce beeswax, so I've got to get rid of the cultivated. So what I've done is. Just to get myself some beeswax and to get myself some more drones, is I've modified these rockies. So I have four fertility, shortest lifespan, fastest speed. So they'll produce some beeswax and they'll produce loads of drones for me. Then I can use them drones as templates, um, increase the stats some more as I'm going along. The stats I've got on my production bees are pretty awesome now. I'll, uh, I'll show you one real quick. And then that'll be all we're doing with bees for this episode. I don't want to do too much. Um, so let's just take this demonic for an example. So that, that's what we've got. Uh, longest lifespan, fastest speed, purifier node, and explorer on all the bees. I've actually got fastest maximum polling. Because I don't know if that makes a difference for purifier node on some of them, but I, I've not done the demonic one yet. I've got two refined bees on the go now. I've got that one and that one have both got refined in. See, that one's got maximum pollen as well. So I, I'm not sure if it makes a difference. And uh, these, of course, these all started as rocky bees, so they've all got these stats. So I'm getting a good amount of fuel from them. It looks like it's almost full actually. I think I'm going to turn it on. Uh, I'm still not happy with the layout anyway. I keep... Mm, yeah, screw it. Let's turn it on. Let's turn it on. I'm just going to start heating this up and we'll see if it maintains its heat and if, if, it, if I've got enough fuel in there. See, so I've, I've got other options. Um, at some point, I'm going to put in frame housings in there, and that's part of why I wanted a router, so I can set up automatically insertion of frames. Um, start getting ready for that. I started making some more seeds, and holy shit, I left it on overnight, and I've got 20,000 melons, so that's 20,000 seeds there. So I've seen some other channels, people messing around, I think. Let's not say messing around. I've seen people doing it um, with trying to get walnut seeds, that are a lot harder to get than melon seeds. I've just got this melon farm here. I had my little two golems, straw and wood. And overnight I've got 20,000 seeds, so I think you get plenty, plenty from doing it like that. And we'll see if I can keep up once I've got frame housings in all of them. So the next thing we're going to get on with is finally got another uranium. As the quarry finished, there it is. So I'm going to set that out quickly compress it and um, the quarry finished so I've moved it along and I've started another one I'll show you that in just a second after 
I've been sat there two days and now we can finally make our way. Iridium alloy ingot. And now we need some industrial TNT, which I've not made. Industrial TNT, we need is it four or five of them. Let's go with five. I think it's four sand. So in fact, let's go with a couple of stacks. Now, this is going to be an issue because we haven't got much gunpowder, but you'll see in a minute. That's an issue that we're not going to have for long. So let's quickly make some gunpowder, uh, some TNT. Oops. Okay, so it's the other way. Um, There we go. Let's even that out. It's not going to get us a great deal, is it? Let's uh, get another stack of sand. Oops. That's 25 TNT. And then we need to make that into industrial TNT. So we need some flint. Which is one of the reasons I've been making plenty of flint. And I see we've got we've got ton of flint there. Oh, make some of that real quick. Uh, I'm not sure if I like this by the way, this crafting thing in here. I might put it back to a normal terminal. Um, quickest reason why is when I shift left click somewhere, I want it to go into the inventory and it's going into there. So I'm used to crafting everything in my with my pocket crafting tool. So ah, I think I'll probably change it back. 32 industrial TNT, that would be enough for, previously that would be enough for two, I think Greg's changed it, so that now you get, you, you only need 16, uh, or I mean you only need 8, I mean, before you needed 16 TNT per iridium, so this should be fine just connecting straight to that because that's low voltage, there we go. And our industrial TNT goes in the bottom. Our iridium alloy goes in the top. And boom, there's our first iridium plate. As you see, it only took eight. So I think the, the patch that brought in um, these lands and stuff. Oh, and the, the patch that brought in the ultimate pack, anyway. Um, changed that from 16 to eight. So that's good. So we've got our first iridium plate. Uh, I'll leave that stuff in there for now. Let's just sling this stuff back in there. Next we're going to need eight um, Lapatron crystals. So that's going to need eight of them. And there's a couple of stacks of them because I don't know how many is it. Uh, that's going to cover it actually, isn't it? One stack would have done. So eight of them. Get rid of that. Put that in there. And there we go. One Lapatronic Energy Orb. And go back to our way. In there. And there we go. We've got a matter fabricator. Now, this isn't going to do much. I'll be honest. The amount of power we can put into it, it's not a great deal and it's going to drain it really quick. So I'm going to put that down there and it's going to try and start running but there's no scrap in there but even though there's no scrap, ah, it's filling its buffer. Okay. One thing I'm going to want with this so it doesn't drain all our energy real quick is I'm going to want to leave one on the front. Now what that'll do is once that buffer's full, if in fact had an amplifier in here, which it hasn't, then it'd stop during it'd stop trying to work. So we're gonna want to leave on that until we've got a lot better power capability. But we've got that now and we can start making some stuff. Now there's a lot of different things you can use as an amplifier. Now do they come under amplifier or no? Let's look at let's look at scrap and look at what scraps you used in. And that should show us all the options. 
I believe. There we go. So I want recipes for matter fabric. It says matter fabricator, but it's the matter. It is the matter fabricator. Um, so scrap 35 scrap amplified enough to get one UU matter, but you can use other stuff. And depending on what um, spawners and grinders you have, you can uh, use stuff that's a little bit easy to produce. I think I'm going to probably produce scrap though, to be honest. And yeah. So that shows you it went on there, but that's only in without grid tech, I believe. And this is also 100 times, I think it's 100 times more requirement. So that makes that 16 million EU with amplifier. Is that right? Who knows? I'm probably going to make scrap and make them into these scrap boxes, to be honest. That's what I did on the other server. Um, real quickly, I'm going to cut the camera actually and show you my setup on the other server, what we're eventually going for. And I'll also make some kind of scrap production so we can start that up. So I'll back in a little bit. So here we are quickly on the main server I play on. Um, I've not been doing many videos, I've not been playing much on this server at the minute to be honest. I've been trying to get the Let's Play server to a good place. But this is my matter fabricator setup on here. This is pretty extreme to be honest. What we've got here is interdimensional storage units. These share power, so you can have a network of as many of these you want and they all share that same 1 billion power. Uh, it's full at the minute because I've got this turned off. I'll turn that on. Uh, I've got scrap coming in from here using the routers and I've got the UU going out into the sorting system over there. But as you can see, that's going at some rate there. That's um, that's getting fed 8,000 EU a tick. So that's the power of 16 Ultimate Hybrid solar panels. Hell of a lot. And uh, you see it still takes quite a while to get UU matter. So I just want to show you that real quick. That's what we're eventually going to be going for. And then you see how quick that goes. And you'll see when we get man running how slow it goes in comparison. But it starts off slow and you'll gradually get quicker until eventually keep playing and get to this point so I shall be back in a little while and we're back on the let's play save it and uh, just started setting a few things together the next thing we need is a, is a recycle it so for that you need a compressor which is made like so machine block and stuff we've already made a compressor before and you get a compressor and you just put some refined iron dirt and glowstone that gets you a recycler now I'm getting a bit messy with my wires here. I don't know how I'm going to squeeze this in, to be honest. Uh, it's going to be something that's going to get moved is pretty much where it's going to go, to be honest. Uh, at the minute, it's going to go into this LAN, which is a medium voltage. So, like these guys, I've got a transformer upgrade. I need to make another one real quick, so I've just started that. MV transformer, just a machine block with a gold wire above and below it. And then to turn that into a transform upgrade. I believe it's like that. Yep, there you go. Circuit, two more gold insulated wires, some glass. Gets you a transform upgrade. So now I can set medium now. So we can put that onto this line. Um really bad place for it to be honest. But for now what I do is I'm gonna cut that wire for just a second. And I'm gonna put it Oops. I'll put it there. I'm going to put the transformer upgrade into it. And then we can put that cable back. And nothing explodes. So that all went, that all went to plan. We've got power. Uh, we're going to start wanting to feed something into there. And the way I actually want to do it is uh, Igneous Extruder, which will slowly get us some scrap, so I need to make one of them real quick. Uh, Ignis Extruder. So we need a machine frame, which looking real quick, I don't seem to have. I believe it's one of them we need as well. Let me just check the recipe real quick. 
Ig. Ignis extruder. Yeah, it is one of them. Machine frame. Piston, some tin and some glass. So easy enough. Got some pistons there. Uh, what's that? Silver, not tin. Two bits of tin. Two bits of glass. And then we we'll need four bits of glass for the machine frame, which takes four iron. Oops. Done this the wrong way around as well. And one gold. Oh no, I haven't done it the right way around. We've got machine frame. Pneumatic servo, two tin, two glass, one piston. Gets us an ignis extruder. Throw the gold wire back in there. So we, our ignis extruder can sit straight on top of there. And we can set it so it outputs to the bottom, which it's already set to, which is nice. And then just to get this going, um, I'll have that as the input side. And I should have a liquid tetherrack somewhere. You can just do this with a bucket, but it's easier to do it with a liquid tetherrack as it is with a bucket. So I'll just switch that to lava. And that'll fill the lava side up. And then switch that to water. I'll fill the water side up. And now we've got cobblestone going into there. That's getting fed straight into the recycler. So that'll produce a scrap at a very slow rate. What I'm going to want to do is get some transformer upgrades so that recycler runs a bit quicker. When it's running on 512 it can take 10 to run at its max but really we only need it to run as quick as the as quick as the ignition extruder can produce so it doesn't have to be crazy for that, but well, let's look at the recipe for that. Um, overclock. Overclock or upgrade. Some tin kits, coolant cells, or some helium coolant cells. Some copper cable. Some circuits. Okay. Uh, tin. Around water cell. Okay, what's that then? That seems to make a 10k coolant cell into a 10k coolant cell. Don't really understand that. So I need some water, some water and some um, tin. Okay. Let me. I'm gonna try something real quick. This may not work. I think I've seen Soren do this on Diewolf's channel. If you have a recipe that requires water. You have one of these water blocks underneath a fabricator. Eh? Uh, we don't want some tin, aren't we? Let's take a stack of tin. I'll get a 16. Um, we want to multiples of 3, don't we? So 17, 18. There we go. And let's just sling this here. See if it works. So it's like chlorine water. Fabricator. Water bucket, tin, and that really doesn't upgrade like I was led to believe it did. I thought maybe the functionality has changed. I really don't know how these water cells work to be honest. I thought if that was underneath a fabricator, it'd keep refilling the bucket. Unless that has to be in a water source as well. I'll find that one day. But well, that didn't work, so. Um, what we can do is we can liquid transposer. Where have I got one of them? I've got one there. Liquid transposer. If we can get our trusty liquid tesseract again. Uh, screw it. I'll just use some cells. I've got plenty of tin. They can go back in there. And we're going to want. I've got some cells in my yeah. Let's fill some of these with water. So how many, how many do we want? We want seventeen. 
what it sells. Put the rest back in there. Bit of a waste of tin, but it's not a big deal, is it? Fill these up. Come on. Sorry, a bit of a awkward silence here while this does. The other thing I've been working on is more spawners. Um, which I'm going to show you once we've got this up and running. That's going to fill my inventory for them things. So I need somewhere to intermediately put them for a minute. And they can go in there. Um, yeah, the other thing I'm going to show in this episode is the spawners I've started to set up. I've not finished them yet, but they're, they're getting there, they're getting there. So I need 12. So I need uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And 6 copper. Even that out. This is 12 of them. And now all we need is some six of them. There's our first upgrade. We'll sling some of these together. Let's get the rest of our cells out of there. Uh, scattered all over the place. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's right. So these only stacked to up to fours, so the max you could put in it a machine is twelve. But I believe the maximum effective you can put in a machine is about only about ten anyway. There is um some inf information on the on the um IC2 wiki that shows your maximums and stuff. So that's actually working quicker than the Ignis is producing now. Now, we could always add more Ignis extruders to this and stuff. Uh, probably will do. But at the minute, because we're not going to be looking at producing a massive amount anyway, once that gets to 34, you can see you need 34 of them to produce one UU matter. I'll sting them in there and I'll turn that on and we'll get our first UU matter made. Well, that's working. I can have a spider on the roof. Well, that's working. I'm going to show you what I've been working on. Um, I wanted to get this next bit ready for the world download, so see that's why the video's a little bit lit. I made a hole in the middle of a floor here. Um, I've just been covering that with the white Zycraft bricks. It's quite harsh on the eyes, I apologise for that, but it's just so mobs don't spawn down here. What I've done is I've built a structure using the filler on this side. And if we step in here, you, well, you wasn't invited. Kill them real quick. I thought I'd get some free slams from this as well then. When it's set up properly. Um, at the top of each of these, I've got a spawner and a wireless receiver. That one's got chickens in. Chickens, of course, don't fall to the death. They, uh, they just float down nice and gently. This one's gonna have cows in it. That one's got creepers. And this last one's gonna have endermen. So you see I've got the creeper one in there. And at the bottom of these, I'm gonna put an item tesseract and a wooden golem. And in the chicken one, I'm gonna to have to put an iron golem or two as well. So see if I turn a chicken one on. You see it'll start to rain chickens. Creeper snuck up on me, and that must be because this bit here isn't, um, must have dropped down on me from up there somewhere. I guess that's because this bit isn't lit and they've spawned on here, maybe. But there you get some chi floating chickens down there, so they're going to need a way to kill them, so they're going to need, I'm going to put an iron golem down there. Oh shit, he blew the fucking thing off the wall, so we can't turn that off. Um, Let's change that to chicken. Turn that off. I need to make another 
transmitter. What's an arsehole? So, here's my feather sauce. More feathers than I'm ever going to need, to be honest. Um, what the fuck bringing light out? And more chickens and steak than ever going to need. As if you blew the friggin' transmitter off the wall. And then the other one I've actually got the spawner in there is the Enderman that you saw me making the anvil yesterday. So they just die when they hit the floor. A wooden golem there collecting the gunpowder, putting it into the eight tesseract. We'll send that into the system. So that's our gunpowder source for making the industrial TNT for our iridium plates, which we'll, we'll, we will need a lot of, so that's definitely something you're going to want a spawner for. And then, last ones that I've not made yet. Uh, Enderman, I've only got 10 kills in the Enderman one, just started that one. Um, I've got 673 into a zombie, so we had to make the Enderman to full pretty quick. Then the cow, which... Um, I'll probably start another skeleton, skeleton one and pin some skeleton spawners and get the cow one done for some leather. So that's what I've been working on. Um, before I put the world up for upload, uh, world for download should I say, I'm going to just uh, finish this off so the gunpowder goes into the goes into the sorting system and I'll finish the chicken one off, repair it. Do those, I'm probably going to have to wait until the next download. Let me get back up here nice and quick. We're probably starting to run a bit long. So let's see if we've got enough scrap. Now one more scrap will do us. And then, um, probably going to be awkward. Scrap's a random chance, by the way, when you put stuff into the Thing there, you're not guaranteed a scrap any time. It's a percentage chance of getting a scrap. And as you can see, we're not doing great at the minute. Come on. I think that's going to handle it with. Yeah. We've got, so that's 34, so we've got enough for one UU matter. I'll bang on 34 in there, 10 I'll leave her off. And. If you remember, my 8k that you saw was the percentage was going up pretty quick. And in comparison, you can see this is going up really slow. The full bar there got us a quick 7%. This is going to start draining down real quick. But hopefully, we'll have enough for one UU matter. Just to show. So I'm going to cut it there and I'm going to come back when we've got a UU matter and then I'm going to finish the episode. So back in a little while. And here we are back again. And it's just taken the last scrap there. 99%. And that should take over. There we go. We've got our first UU matter. Hooray! Now, if you remember, I'll shut that off now because it's going to take a while to get us some scrap and stuff. Um, so let's quit our power. So we've got five mil left in there, five in there, and two and a bit in there. So it's nearly 18 million it's took. So it probably is, yeah, it's probably 16.6667 million for one of them. So we're not going to produce much at the minute. And if you remember, to produce one advanced solar panel. It takes two UU matter. Advanced solar panel, let's have a look. Uh, I've still got no textures for this, but it takes two UU matter for there. And it takes an iridium plate. Oh, iridium ingot. Okay, iridium ingot, that's not as bad as an iridium plate. But that's still, if you're doing it purely for a UU matter, that's another seven UU matter. So it's nine UU matter per advanced solar panel. So that's, that's a bit expensive. Um, so I am pushing towards the 
valuable bees which produce platinum which they can then turn into iridium and of course the next thing to make as it says on the board there is industrial grinder and what we can do once we get an industrial grinder is we can take our ferrous ore that I've been saving up so I've got 200 ferrous ore and if we put that through the industrial grinder if you do it with water you get a tiny pile of platinum dust but if you do it with mercury cell which you can make just with a cell and some quicksilver or you can get the byproduct from electrolyzing the stuff you get a platinum dust and a platinum dust can go into centrifuge and get one nugget so for every nine of them I mean it's not great but for every nine of the ferrosaurs we can get one iridium so I've got enough for a few bits of iridium there so start of the next episode is going to be making an industrial grinder I guess so uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you'll join me for the next episode thank you very much for watching and as always thanks for the subs I'm nearly at 400 as I make this and thanks for any likes and I'll see you next time cheers Bye.